Well, there you go. You get the right liquids going into the uh, the, the hydroponic pots, and it works fine. Hey, folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to uh, another episode of Oxygen Not Included, one where things are actually working properly. So these guys wanted clear, clean water, and these guys wanted the polluted and nasty fertilizer kind of water. And now they got what they want, they're much happier. I had a heck of a time getting these things to empty out their contents. Now, now we've got almost 5,000 of water in there. Empty storage, what I found, just emptied a little bit of it. it it's not a, it doesn't empty the whole thing. It, they come down and they make a jug of water that has a little bit of water in it. Or, the, a, a, little, or a ball of uh, a fertilizer, but it doesn't empty it out. I had them come back here four or five rounds and finally gave up and just deleted all these and rebuilt new ones. So, it's not quite what I was expecting there. Anyway... That's up and running now. And look at this. Excellent yield. Excellent. We've got an excellent yield, which will give us two mealwood seeds each harvest. So here's our seed production. We could still go ahead and do other things like this for bulk goods if we want. It's the same uh, production of, of food. It's going to... What do I need? This one? So, no, it's not. Ah, it's only 800. I was thinking of 1600 and 1600. The difference was that you get a seed back, but no, it is only 800 on the other one. Hmm. Okay. So these are going to make twice as much than these. It might well be worth not running these. What do you think? Now think about that. Well, we know we have seeds now. Same here. These guys excellent yield so we're going to get two seeds out of each of these so we'll double our seed production each time each round what I don't like about it at least what seems misleading is that it just keeps feeding water in 10 kilogram packets going into here what's it going in at 10 kilograms of water in here 10 kilograms what I don't know is that just representing that the plant is using a little bit and so a little bit is moving in or what but you know I've got 10 kilograms in each of these little globs going through and it's just constantly feeding these plants need 20 over their lifetime over their over the harvest if I read that correctly maybe they're okay let's look at that again water per cycle okay I interpret cycle as a harvest cycle. So all the stages of growth until it becomes food. And then it gets one more round. This has, ah, per day, 13 cycles to harvest. That's a cycle. Oh, okay. So once 10, once 20 water, 20 kilograms of water per cycle. And it takes how long to grow? Let me think here. This, there's a number here somewhere. Right? I mean, there's 13 left. Next harvest in 13 cycles. Harvest rating. Oh, well. Numbers. Many, many numbers and words. Okay. <laughs> I give up there. It's working. We're going to call that good enough. Stop trying to understand it. All right. I split the system in half. We've got an overload or a near overloaded system over here. Though we're actually only using 300 of that 1.3 kilograms. There's 600. It's rare that we're going to use all of it at once. So split the uh, research off, and soon this research is going to go away. So there's one that's, that's popping out of it. But this one's got room to expand. We're only 360 on this one completely. And these two are going to go away soon. It's really just these two. I added one out over here. That's what got these working. I finally put this guy in, got the pressure up in here. Don't know that we need to keep that thing running, though. Let's um, gas. Doing good here. I shut this one down. So this time, I think I'm just going to manually cycle these back and forth. Then eventually we're we're going to get into the there's lots of other things. Power switch, atmospheric switch. That might be what I'm looking for right there. 
a hydro switch automatically switches power grids on or off based on ambient liquid pressure okay a thermal switch uh, switches power grids on or off based on ambient heat okay so you got a thermostat there you've got a a hydrostat that we call a pressure switch like that and atmospheric uh, am, okay this guy's probably what I want for this guy right here so a little easier said than done as far as turning him off and it says the grid right switching a power grid I wonder if that means just all the wiring beyond that point if we were to oh be hard to do this take this down put in the switch go back up and then go beyond I don't know how I'd wire that in there because there's you know there's no extra tiles around to, to try to make that work I almost have to pop out up here hit the switch and then drop back into here that would be worth experimenting with on one of these maybe this one right here we don't travel this very often I say that as I say that he does it <laughs> But uh, one of these guys, but for right, for right now, let's manually get this guy up going again. And we'll manually turn this one off and do our best to remember to turn it back on before too long. We want to keep these guys functioning. Ooh, are we set for nines? We're not. I want harvesting to happen all the time. I don't want anything... Well, I say that. Okay, let's do that for now. This guy, I want... And that I want. Now, did that take? It did not. So, harvest nine doesn't do any good. I'm curious. Priority nine, just on the plants. Back in here, still a five. You gotta manually do this now. And this is not the uh, copy settings available system here. It's it's this down here that does that. So, let's get these guys harvested. Let's get that food into a safe place. Same with you. Nine. Auto harvest. When it happens. Once food is looking great, then we'll take those down to where they'll harvest themselves. Although, the problem with that is this will eventually dry off or dry up and the meal ice will just drop on their own. The problem is that we're constantly feeding water anyway. Are we? Let's verify that. Well, we need someone to take a shower to verify it. But you know like this just constantly going if it's sitting and waiting to be harvested for a long long time we're still wasting all this water is my guess so that may not be the best thing maybe best just to get it done and, and get it moving and see if we can do this just with these right here still hesitant to uh, continue burning through seeds over here hmm well let's go a little bit longer and think it through anyway Let's see what we have in the way of a duplicate here. Okay. Ten. Don't really need the creativity and the negative athletics. We can eventually overcome that if we want. We'd love to have a 12 learning, but the 35 decor expectation is going to kill us. And there's just not enough here. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry to get your hopes up. Oh, um, I clicked... <laughs> yeah, there's not enough here to uh, to justify it that's the only one that might but we're not really hurting right now for help so I'm going to say no till we get something that is just right so reject all we're going to have the opportunity to see dozens and dozens and dozens of dupes before this series is done unless there's an update tomorrow that I don't know about and suddenly the save file crashes I don't think it's going to be that way but hopefully not anyway what else have I changed since we last talked it was mostly getting this going got this in so i need to check temperature well there it is 65 degrees 68 degrees 75 so we are going to start to warm in here i can though disable building once in a while and kind of regulate temperature that way and that's possible in fact what i don't know like in rimworld we can shut down a whole bank of batteries and it'll maintain its charge i've never shut down a full battery to see what would happen. Yeah, I'd be curious to see if it sits there fully charged and waiting for when you need it next time. That might well be worth it. It's building battery banks and just storing power for a for a rainy day. Here's something I wanted to get into. This guy down here 
even when there isn't any polluted dirt underneath, it's going to belch out some nastiness. Some, uh, well, it's called carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen. There it is. You know, the gases don't share a square, a space. So carbon dioxide is dominating here, so it's shoved over and probably adding to... It just moves. It's constantly moving. There, just saw it. Polluted. There you are. Moved over to there, moved back to there. And that 185.7 is going to grow. There it is, 164. It's moving in and out. Okay. As it's drifting over to here, here's some more of it. I see yellow in there. Works its way through, works its way up. And even this stuff over here is finding its way this direction. For some reason, is drifting off to this side. A little bit in here, though. This wasn't open before. That means it's going to start congregating up here now. Okay. But the place where we need to de-stress is starting to stink. That's kind of what I'm getting to. I'm just trying to locate all of its sources. Until we get further into here and it'll just bypass this and keep on going, we do need to kind of clean this up. So what I want to do, what I was going to do but decided not to until uh, you guys got to see it, is I want to put, I think up high, it tends to rise. Let's put a single tile. There we go. And we'll do that. And this guy right here, the air deodorizer, reduces the threat of disease by filtering polluted oxygen out of the air. So it takes a thousand grams per second of sand. It per second is really odd. I really wonder if that means per cycle. I mean, that's a, every second we'd be needing another thousand grams being dumped into this. They don't bring that much. That's odd. Anyway, so it takes 100 grams of polluted oxygen out and puts 50 grams of oxygen back. So we're going to lose pressure using this. There is that to keep in mind. Eventually it's not a big deal because we're going to be adding so much pressure to the place that we're going to be maxed on pressure quite often. But let's get this going to make sure that it happens. And we'll go ahead and take these guys out just to uh, open this place up. But I got this guy going because we were doing a little bit of stressing over here while I was trying to get the rest of this all repaired. And... Uh, we we're just concentrating on that and nothing else. You were down here for what? You insist on doing that, huh? Well, if you're going to insist on doing that, then I'm going to give you a better way to do it. I want no more, uh, no more angry, stressed out dupes because you keep stepping in water. Let's do that. And in case you've got to do the same thing over here, we'll go to that point there. I think they can still reach the ground with their tool when they're doing that. Okay. Um... So you guys got something you want to be you need to be working on. You guys can work on those. Otherwise, I think that is it. I popped this guy open. That's what I did. Um, while I was doing all this, they continued building up the ladder. They got this one built so we can start working on these rooms. But they released all the water up here, which dumped it all down and flooded all of this. So I went through and popped some of these tiles to drop them in. In the process of popping one right here. Our hatch, which was walking back and forth up here, fell in. So we've got two hatches down here by accident. Looks like carbon dioxide is under control over here. Got these three on, which is starting to drop it out of here. It's almost looking a little bit better right here, too. All right, so we've got the four running now. And it's, for the most part, keeping us under control. We just turn this back on, turn this off. Pressure is diminishing. Not enough to harm us yet, but... We're still excellent yields, but I'm thinking that that's probably enough. We'll go ahead and turn this back on again, but just watching this here, just, it's nice to see it working. It really is. <laughs> um, it used to be that to run this kind of water constantly running would deplete your water supply really fast. But I think that's all been rebalanced too, to register that there's more water in this volume here than it was before because this you could almost watch the level dropping before now we're getting we're getting quite a few episodes from just this amount of water being used so that's that's better 
at the beginning it was to the point to where you basically spent all of your time just trying to stay ahead of the, the avalanche is what it felt like. Now we get to play the game, and that's much better. But anyway, where was I before I got diverted? I saw all this, and that caught my attention from something else. I don't know. But, anyway, let's work on... I'm going to leave these guys alone. Let's work on this area today. And we'll peek in here one more time. It All the time I was rebuilding all of that, this had been sitting there like that. So apparently the next cycle was building up real quick behind here. All right, same sort of thing here. Negative athletics, all those... No creativity. A negative 40 is, is huge. Meaning, this one will never stress out. But I don't need to trade that in order for, You know, it's, it's all a give and take. To get such a low number here means we get nothing more than just ones up in here and a quite a low one there. Again, pass, pass, and pass. All right, reject. We'll work on the next cycle. All right, over here. We have got, I know where I was going, algae. I was looking at these four, and these two are going to turn him back on. That's what it was. Which all takes algae, and takes a lot of it. You are a nine, as you are an eight. And it is now waiting for material delivery, because the eights are... Hmm. Let's look at priorities real fast before I move on. I did go through and move down a lot of numbers though I've kept everything it needs delivering or um, harvesting at eights you guys were nines you don't need to be I wanted to get the plants nines so you guys are eights but I want delivery systems to be nines be eights so that yeah so they'll overtake everything except for an absolute emergency which is nine or something I just want to get built really quick because I need it done this episode. That's the whole point of why we're here. And we're just finishing these. We're going to move into these two next. But we need algae. We've got lots of it around. So we're not in an emergency basis right now. We can definitely go in and do something like this. And dig out these guys. This guy, there was a hatch. He went down. I don't see him. Where did that hatch go that was roaming back and forth? We we got out of here. He, oh, he's still there waiting to do something. Okay, we're not going to disturb him. But let's do that, and let's do that. There's some, some uh, more algae for us. There's still more in pockets here and there. Um, I don't know if I pointed this out before. I, I know I talked about the idea that there is algae in other biomes, but it doesn't look the same. Here's an example of it. Here is a huge quantity of algae hiding over here. So more of it will pop in. Got that geyser up above we got to deal with. And we've got to make sure we don't dig too close to this, because that's going to build pressure as this entire thing fills up. Um, let's take a peek real, through, real quick through and see if there's anything new that's popped in. I really want to find a natural gas geyser this is a geyser here and geysers are so hot the game is letting us know the material over here is really getting hot by all these little reddish orangish um, uh, markings through there orange gases will be the uh, indicator ah there's a wheeze wart this makes cold uh, indicator of natural gas and I have yet to see any not even little pockets of it form around here and there. So, no natural gas on the map at all yet. Anyway, there's still algae in a few places here and there. But we can make our own. And I think it's time to get to that. As well as getting everything that produces, well, as much as possible that produces this polluted oxygen out of the base. So, I'm thinking about extending out into here, setting up some biodistillers which converts slime into algae. While we're there, since we're using fertilizer over on the other side to make excellent plants, we could use a fertilizer maker or two, which uses polluted water to produce fertilizer. 
So we've got a, a bit of a system to at least get set up today. We'll see how far we actually go. Um, how best? This needs to go in there. This needs to go in there. And it'd be nice to make a place for hatches to finally drop them in. Hmm. How best? Let's deconstruct all you. Yeah, I got it. So that one goes away. And I'm thinking in this place we build a door. Let's take that up to a 9 just to make sure it happens. Because you are transferring goods because you're not deconstructing. I want that to happen so I can start building. Base, tile. Let's put a door right there. And that will be an airlock door which will block gases. And do that. And you're picking up great all the stuff that came out of there. So any more stinky in there? No polluted dirt. Great. So we're going to build this one. And we're going to move in to this area where we can make all the stink that we want. Oh, stink. <laughs> uh, cancel you. Let's put mesh in. Like so. Maybe a ladder down. I think that would be a good plan. All the way? I think so. Ah, we're getting close to here and all the the heat and pressure coming out of this too. Um, how best? We're fine over here, but we're going to want to build some kind of a barrier in here. Yeah, I'm going to take you down to there. And let's dig out like so. Let's tile with granite. Hmm there there dare I take that out we're only one space away this could blow before they get it back to to actually working on it that might be pushing it let's do this cancel you and we'll do that uh, granite oh I can't do it till this is gone okay so we're gonna have to uproot this one all right, so that's going to happen there. We'll go ahead and dig out this pile and that one. So let's put more of mesh across here. Like so. What are you? You are sand. That's good stuff there. I want to make sure not to lose that. What's over here? 105 degrees, 98 degrees, 105, 6 degrees. I think it's this heat transferring into here. I don't think it's another geyser. So I think we can bust through part of this. It's interesting this hasn't come through here yet. It's very possible that it will soon, though. Yeah. Oh, that's granite. What are you? You are granite. Okay, I got those right. All right. Tile, granite, there we go. Let's do that as well. Then we may have to come back and do one more layer on some of these, but that's a good starting point. Okay, we're going to do that. Once they... It might not hurt just to go ahead and do that too. We'll see. Anyway, up in here. I'm thinking one more... Hmm. Let's do that. No, not that one. Cancel. Let's do gas permeable up here. The idea being, if we release something up above and it comes splashing down, it doesn't go through a gas permeable tile, so it will flow down and drop right down into here and protect whatever's happening down below. We're going to have to deal with this little mess here, but at some point I want to come back through, and it's probably fine just like that. Actually, yep, that'll be fine. So that goes there, another door, like so. Yeah, that'll do. All right, in this space, what was that? Research is finished. Let's take a peek at Kathras. Research. She's now up to a four. Six, five, seven, five. 
let's let her go one more level or is there something else that's super important right now we're not going to get into combustion just yet no all this is fine let's wait let's concentrate on on working now instead of uh, instead of researching and before i go any further over there what's happening over here everybody's kind of happy this isn't happening yet we're doing fine there let's go ahead and harvest this one round get that done will that work it did this time or they may have already been nines that one's a nine that one is and yep yeah, here we go interesting i could make it work on these but it seemed to take on that one huh no i won't explain you guys haven't built this yet. I want that built soon. Not deconstruct, prioritize. Nine. Let's get that one built. So we can see that before this episode's over. Okay. So let's continue designing here. These stills. Refinement. Bio. Distiller. Yeah. So that won't work. If we were to set you there. There? Let's go there. Let's cancel. Is that enough? That'll do it. That'll do it. Okay. We'll fall through, drip, and go right through the tiles and go through. So it'll still work fine and will not come splashing back. Okay. That'll work. So with that, let's get two of those in. All right there. And then let's do fertilizer there let's see let's cut this ladder back right to that level there that's good and another tile there okay and another dig where that was in fact all that that's not considered no okay and another refinement and get into fertilizer maker this time Right there. I'm going to leave a space in between and right there. Do we like that? One, two, three. All the sand is going to fall. Huh. Eventually, we'll want this water to come in here anyway. Because we're going to pump out of here. In which case, I could go a little bit lower to build a little more reservoir. Though we're going to be getting into more heat and warming all this up. Everything's give and take. So many things to think about long term. Let's go back to mesh. We'll mesh to there. And what happens here? What I would like is an insulated tile. Ooh. Now, it's insulated, but I don't. Okay, the insulated can be made of a stronger material. That's what I need to know. Okay, cancel one more time. You guys go away, you guys go away. Insulated made out of granite. I like that much better. Hear that rumbling noise? The geyser's going off right now. Okay, we're going to do this. There. There? No, it was there. And... There. All right, we'll insulate that group there. Cancel this guy. And if I have to, we'll put one more layer in. Though this one, to get us a little more reservoir, I guess we could kind of punch all this out. Just don't want the dupes to be down in the water for too long. But let's think about that. A little more space in here would be nice. Let's take out like that. And that. that okay you cancel what did i just cancel oh okay i see do that all right insulated tile can do something like that and even all right the whole bottom kind of shield us from the heat coming out of here so we can maintain a, a decent lukewarm temperature over here and not uh, get to boiling eventually all right i'm liking that so one more ladder down let's get a pump does it matter which side? Not really. We're going to be pumping nastiness into these things. So it's going to go into all of them. May as well come up the center and split both ways. In that case, pump right here. 
All right then. So we've got a bio distiller, which that's, I wish this screen told me the same thing as clicking, clicking, clicking. This screen does the ins and outs of the machine. So requires slime, which we've got all all over this place, and requires power and a liquid pipe, and it wants 400 grams of polluted water. 200 grams. It gives 200 grams of algae. Wait a minute now. It gives two, uh, 400 grams of polluted water. Okay. So you're going to give it slime. It's going to squeeze out polluted water and algae out of that slime. Okay. This guy is going to take 150 grams of polluted water and give us back fertilizer and heat and some natural gas. We're going to have natural gas to deal with here. So that is going to be an issue. We may not, we may only get one of these up and running for now. But that's the basic layout. Again, the power grid over here only had 360 connected to it, and soon these two go away. So we could run this basically on this second power grid. So power, let's get that up and going. Switch, no, wire. There may be a reason to think about switches and whatnot later, but right now, let's just do that. All right, power is in, and we need to drop down. What's our pathway? I'm thinking like so. Plumbing. We need to dump out. Hmm. When the water gets too high, this will not work anymore. This is going to produce car uh, polluted water, so I want it to drip out. Do I drip up high? Well, these won't function when they're underwater, too. So we're going to have to maintain, we're going to have to come up with a another use for polluted water to keep this reservoir going lower and lower. Or we're going to have to tunnel back into here eventually and make a little more space. This might be a little bit too low to be doing this. That's possible. I just wanted to come off our main floor here. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to finish designing the system. Then after we're done, maybe I will transfer everything up one level to match this floor and do it all up here. That might work. Though I've got to worry about the height between this thing and getting three layers above this before this busts through. Yeah, it never, it's never easy. There's always a reason why it's not going to work. But we'll get this laid out so you can see it. And then uh, when we come back, I'll have it transferred up a little higher. That's probably a better plan to get up a little bit. But the idea is to have a vent and piping that travels like so down. Yeah, we'll do like that. Okay, both of them come together, join, and then drip into this area. Otherwise, we need a supply of this polluted water to feed and I've always found it well I guess that would work okay you want to split off before you get to your devices rather than going into the green and then continuing through I've had problems with it continuing through and end up just feeding the one machine only so if you get somewhere else and then T or branch half will go one way half will go the other and you feed both both the pieces of equipment. So that guy is going to make, these two are going to make fertilizer, it's going to make algae and drip more polluted water in. So that's the idea. And this will give us a bit of a break between uh, uh, doors so that we can keep as much as polluted oxygen out of here as possible. The refinement, the new, the compost can live in here now and make all the stinkies in here. And a storage for the stinkies can be right in here. So that's the concept. And I'll tell you what I will do. Everything else seems to be okay. Well, we'll go back and look through the place afterwards. But I'm going to rebuild this off camera a little bit higher up. Maybe try to get... Actually, i probably punch this thing, this thing and let it just run out. We're going to fill up to about here and build all this up above here. So we'll have a much larger reservoir. Yeah, that's probably the best idea. So this will all be functioning when I come back 
and you get to see the result of that. But you got to see how it was built and, and the logic behind it. Otherwise, how are we doing? 24,000 kilocals. We have maxed out this guy. Um, we're not eating our meal lice. We are producing food out of it right here. So we're going to get the best of negative two food instead of eating the, uh, the raw stuff of negative three food, which is the meal lice raw. Um, not bothering with mush bars. We've got lice loaf. We've got lots. So we've got no bristle berries right now. So these guys have not done their, finished their cycle. Yeah, still an excellent yield. Still an excellent yield. Turn him back off. Disable. Did that take it? Yeah, there's a switch. And how are we doing up here? Algae. Algae. We're down to almost nothing right now. Okay. Uh, we're fine there. We can go ahead and switch you off. Disable. And we can priority... Where are you? Priority 9. The digging. That didn't happen over here. So 8s are still not good enough for these guys to get their work done. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's what's up over here in, uh, in the Space Burrow with our 6 spacemen adventurers. And we're actually looking pretty good good here as far as carbon dioxide we're we're we have good sleeping conditions we've got uh, carbon dioxide pushed down low where we're not regularly walking through it yep this is looking pretty good so this has been Noble Rambler thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you next time bye bye